Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. It is Thursday, February 18th, 2021. Uh, article here in Breitbart News regarding uh, Bill Gates' push to eliminate beef uh, would, dis would utterly destroy U.S. livestock industry. There's a, an Iowa GOP congresswoman that basically, you know, came out and said this, that, you know, what Bill Gates wants us to do. And for those of you that, that don't know, um, you could go back and do research on this. Bill Gates and a host of other people are working on, and this has been going on for a long time, lab-grown uh, beef, lab-grown meat. So I, I believe that this year McDonald's and, if I'm not mistaken, Taco Bell are coming out with this lab-grown meat that they're going to be actually, it's going to be on their menu. So they're going to be serving it. Now, Bill Gates, of course, has no problem with, you know, the world, the, the countries of the world, eating lab-grown meat while he himself lines up for the local, at the local cheeseburger joint uh, for cheeseburgers and Coke. Uh, because that's all the guy eats is cheeseburgers, apparently. But you and I have to eat lab-grown meat. Um, so why is this bad? Well, number one, they want to get rid of animals. Animals pollute the environment. Agenda 21, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, it all talks about, if you read and you look at the, the what they have printed in their materials, on their websites, in their speeches, uh, a sustainable future does not include eating animals. It includes eating insects. It includes eating lab-grown meat, etc. So if you think this is going away, it's not. It's going to be pushed upon us. And who knows what products are going to be coming out soon that when we eat them, you eat lab-grown meat. Okay, you say to yourself, oh, it tastes just like a hamburger. Maybe it does. Um, what does it do to your body? When you ingest something, when you ingest a meat from an animal or say even fruit and vegetables that are naturally grown rather than the genetically modified ones uh, when God created the the world and he created food for us the DNA in the food part of the DNA that 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 does protein sy synthesis is very similar to our DNA and that's for a reason when God created we had he, he his un infinite wisdom is what we're eating has to be similar to what we are so we could absorb it and it could uh, give us nutrients and uh, cause us to grow and to be smart and to think and to and to be able to have energy and all kinds of things on the cellular level now you come into play where man wants to play god and make his own meat and do all this stuff and now we start eating that what does it do to our body when the bible says you have to eat keep things natural don't mess around with splicing DNA or making another organism uh, because the body won't recognize it. So will it kill us off? Will it cause cancer? Will we grow another head out of our shoulders? Nobody knows. There's no long-term studies. And now we're eating GMO foods for how long? We don't know what diseases this causes or what mental disorders it causes. So it's a big deal. It's not just something to laugh about. It's something to start listening to and speaking up about. That's why I'm doing a video on this. We've got to start exposing these people and stop letting them push things down our throat. From jabs that are coming down, endless jabs, uh, for money, and for who knows what else, what other means, what other nefarious ends they have with that. Um, and now there's lab-grown meat. What else is going to happen? Oh, for, for, for a more sustainable earth. Well, no, we're doing fine just the way we are. Let's eat natural. Let's take care of our bodies naturally. Let's give our bodies the nutrients they need to heal themselves, to increase the immune system. I'm going to be doing a video on just some of the products that I'm taking now to keep my immune system, try to keep my immune system healthy so I don't get sick. And if I do get sick, my body could fight it off. God created our bodies to fight this stuff off. So think, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Um, Anthony signing off. Uh, stay ready. Uh, lots, lots going on out in the world today. Thanks for watching.